Hey guys, so it is Wednesday where I am. Happy whatever afternoon of whatever day it may be where you guys are watching from today. So, yeah, so object and project of the day is to make sour. I have the citric acid in the other part of the room. I haven't grabbed that yet. But sour blue raspberry medicated hard candy. For this particular batch and for most of my batches, I use the True Leaf Sativa Clementine. It's a pretty good potency. It's got that nice sort of hint of citrus in it. So it makes for a really good taste overall and effect for that matter. Um, pretty much with any other flavorings you might add in there. So you are going to need a couple things to be able to do this. I recommend wearing a pair of culinary grade gloves. Um, stirring utensil, we always use the same thing. I know it seems whatever, I don't care. It's clean, it works, doesn't have to be fancy utensils. You will need a candy thermometer. That part is very important though because temperatures and getting them at the right temperature and doing the action at those temperatures is extremely important. Not only in this, but really in any candy making. Okay, so then we are choosing the blue raspberry flavoring. You guys can, of course, use any flavor you want. You're going to need a quarter cup of water. I think it's two-thirds a cup of corn syrup, but I will double-check the recipe as I go more into it. You're going to need two cups of sugar, and you're also going to need that quarter cup of water. And these guys and your flavoring get added in after the sugar and the corn syrup and the water are mixed, heated, broken down, and yeah. So, let's get into it. Okay, so other very important part of this, you're going to need warm water. I actually might have this a little too hot, so let me fish this guy back out. You're going to need warm water, pretty warm water. It's just my particular water at the house here is like strip your skin down to the bone hot and we don't want it quite that hot. So you do want to put it in warm water, your tincture concentrate syringe thing. That way it can start more easily loosening up this concentrate in here because this is a legitimate bitch and a half to try to get out of these little syringes if it's not heated. It takes like every ounce of anyone's strength, not just like a fully grown adult man, because we had one of those try to open them too. So definitely need those going in the warm water. Let's jump back over to the actual candy making. So we've got our sugar in here. We've got the corn syrup. We've got the water. We ended up doing a double batch for ours. So it's going to be, well, a batch and a half. So it's going to be about a cup of the corn syrup and about half a cup of water and just around three cups of sugar for this one. I would recommend going by the actual recipe which recommends to use two-thirds a cup of corn syrup, a quarter cup of water, and two cups of granulated white sugar. So then we go ahead, we turn the heat on, we need this to get heated up to the boiling point. We need it to elevate itself to around 250 degrees. At that point, we gotta be careful and we gotta stir right now, so I gotta put you down. Right now, our main focus is getting all of this sugar nice and broken up. So we're going to go ahead and stir this, get the sugar broken down to where it's one uniform mixture, and then I'll jump back over for the next step. So we have the heat on, we have to get this stirred in, all the sugar broken down, and get this up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it is at 250 degrees Fahrenheit, you're going to stop stirring and let it get up to... I think about 300. Once it hits 300, you take it off the heat. You do not want it staying on that heat after that because it will destroy your candy mix. So you go ahead, you get all this broken down, like I said, probably like four times now, knowing me. And then when you get up to 300 is when the fun begins. But we got to get it to a boil first. So let's get 
this broken down. I'll show you guys what it looks like or should look like when it gets to that boil. And bear with me. It does take a little while. I would say set aside at least an hour or two of your day just to be safe. It doesn't take nearly that long, but you got to account for prep time. I had all of my stuff prepped beforehand because I've definitely made the mistake a time or two of not prepping and then just trying to do it all at once and it becomes like triple effort. So, all right, be back with you guys in a second. Also, just so you guys know, your thermometer should or could, if it's just you making this, when you're gonna make your candy, clip it to the side. You need it to be in the candy mixture here, like I have mine. You do not want it touching the bottom of the pot because it can just straight up explode glass bits and stuff into your candy mix, which I don't think anyone's really going for that candy type or mixture. So to avoid glass bits and shards, you do not want your thermometer touching all the way down. But you can adjust it like I've done mine here to where you can somewhere there see that it is going up in heat still got sugar to break down so I'm going to continue with that for now not that sorry about that guys so this is when it starts really getting time precision see it's already almost to 225 I just wanted to show you guys when it gets to the boiling point I'm going to put you down so I can do the next step so I still have a little while before it is right about 225 right now guys so it's getting to crunch time it'll stay around this temperature around 220 something for a good few minutes don't get impatient that's how you screw up a batch of this kind of candy or any kind of candy really be patient patience is key okay well you guys will be able to see it but it just hit 250 after about 10 at least 10 15 minutes of being below that and hanging around 225 and slowly, not even inching, like millimetering up. Sorry about my hands, they're a little shaky right now, guys. Um, Jesus, I didn't think they were that bad. Okay, so I will pick this back up after hopefully my hands calm down with the shaking and, jeez, and sorry. And after it hits 300, because that's when we get to let it come off the heat, cool it down, and do the fun stuff. We are literally almost right there. We are at 290, guys. 10 more degrees, and we will be able to take this off the heat. I'll mix in the blue raspberry, or you guys would mix in your flavoring at that point. Five more degrees. And then after you mix in your flavoring, or at the same time, you go ahead and mix in your tincture or concentrate. Almost there. 305 is actually the ideal temperature according to this recipe, so we went ahead, we took it off the heat, we turned the burner off. I'm going to go ahead and open up the syringes so we can get those in there when it cools down a little bit. You don't want to add in your concentrates and stuff right when you take it off the heat. You want to give it like a split second or, you know, a few seconds because if it's too hot, you're going to waste through a lot of your product. So, so we have now mixed in our blue raspberry candy flavoring. We have mixed in both of the concentrate syringes. So this is going to be a double medicated batch, which is usually how I make them because I make it for myself, but I also make some for family who basically family who have debilitating health conditions like my father does. Um, he suffers from chronic heart failure, diabetes, neuropathy, just a bunch of different things that cause him pain and eating the candy is easy on him. He doesn't have to like worry about coughing like he would with smoking because he has hernias and that's no good for that kind of thing. But in candy form, it's great. So let's get it in the pans. So this is like a quarter of the finished product. You'll see that it's only been a couple minutes. It's already able to be broken off, to be consumed. I went ahead and put citric acid, sorry, a little bit mixed in with lemon flavored, of course. Add to the citrus component we have going on here. Add it in with the sugar that you see. 
I sprinkle my pan or my parchment paper first with some sugar. That way the candy mix has something to stick and adhes be adhesive to. I'm not sure how to word that right now. Anyway, the purpose of the sugar is so this does not stick to your parchment paper or whatever you are using because it is literally a bitch and a half to get off of there. So, it is what it is. But, I made these adorable little blue raspberry clementine medicated blue raspberry sour hard candies. So, you can do. Or, if you've just been watching my endeavor, thank you guys for watching. I hope to be able to have my honey here next time so we can actually record through the whole process and I don't have to keep stopping. But, not bad for my first time in a long time making candy by myself without, you know, having someone here to help. So, not a complete fail. This is the rest of the candy. It will be broken apart. We do this more like candy glass than actual candy candy. So this will all be broken up and stored in like Ziploc bags. But there we go. If you got this far, we did it guys. You should now. Mm, delicious. Have yourself a batch of medicated cannabis hard candy. I will go ahead and provide the recipe that I used underneath this video for anyone who would like to or might be interested in or know someone interested in making their own candy. So there it is. Thanks for joining. Please like, share, subscribe, you know, the usual YouTube stuff. Thank you guys and have a wonderful and safe night. Phoenix out. <laughs>